别克首都塔什江嘅地铁站俾人一种神秘感。佢喺苏联时期作为核爆避难所，保留咗好多军事机密，多年嚟都受到严格监管，所以地铁站之前系全面禁止拍摄嘅，直到二零一八年六月先解禁。乌兹别克系中亚五个斯坦国家之一。一九九一年由前苏联独立，系世界上两个双重内陆国之一，即系本国同埋邻国都系内陆国家。要认识呢个特别嘅国家，可以由首都塔什江嘅地铁站开始。嚟过塔什江嘅朋友咧，都推荐我一定要嚟睇呢度嘅地铁站，因为呢度每一个地铁站咧嘅设计都唔同，譬如有呢啲好靓嘅大型浮雕同埋壁画啦。而且佢嘅地铁站咧系喺七十年代建成嘅，好有苏联特色。塔什江地铁系中亚第一个铁路系统。六十年代城市经历咗一次大地震，起地铁成为其中一个重建项目。到而家已经发展至一共有三条线，二十九个站。我自己咧就好中意呢一个地铁站嘅，中意佢嗰只咧由南到黑渐变嗰只色通，因为呢个站咧就系用太空人嚟做主题嘅，好似呢一个咧就系全球第一个女太空人我就跟咗乌兹别克两个本地朋友搭地铁，认识地铁站背后嘅古仔佢哋就觉得呢个站最能够代表乌兹别克。So the station is called、uh, friendship between peoples and nations. It was、uh, a Soviet concept to unite everybody and.、Uh, During the Soviet period, here there were、uh, symbols of the Soviet states, like symbol of this friendship. 地铁站上面系人民友谊广场，雕像纪念二战时嘅一个家庭，两夫妇收养咗十四个唔同种族嘅小朋友。As we told during the World World War Two,、uh, Uzbek people adapted、uh, like nation like nations from different countries of、uh, Soviet Union. Each child is from different nationality. There is Uzbek, Kazakh,、uh, Russian, Belarusian, Ukrainian, and Azerbaijan and Azerbaijani. Formed the new identity of Uzbekistan, which we talked. <laughs> There, this multi-ethnic. Tapsapgang's 每个地铁站都有独特嘅古仔，有机会嚟嘅不妨逐一了解。中亚有近五十万朝鲜族。当中乌兹别克系五国中最多朝鲜族人口嘅国家。乌兹别克人口大约三千二百几万，喺一百二十九个民族当中，主体民族系乌兹别克族，而朝鲜族就占零点七 percent， 有近二十万人口。究竟系乜嘢原因令佢哋嚟到中亚？为咗寻找答案，我哋嚟到乌兹别克嘅萨马尔罕，因为事前联络唔到当地嘅朝鲜族机构。唯有跟随导游，尝试登门拜访佢哋。伊尼米卡，伊尼米卡，我哋就嚟咗。啱啱咧，我哋就嚟到一间韩国诊所咧，谂住采访啲喺诶萨马尔罕嘅韩国人啦。但系遇到好多当地嘅韩国人咧，佢哋已经唔识讲韩文。诊所由南韩人戚之兴建
而職員同埋醫生就大多數係土生土長嘅朝鮮族。我嘅爺爺原本係嚟自韓國嘅，佢一句俄文都唔識㗎，就移民咗去俄羅斯嘅遠東。後嚟史泰林將佢哋搬曬去中亞，嗰陣時嘅生活真係好辛苦。呢一班朝鮮族最初係十九世紀末因為饑荒而由韓國逃亡到俄羅斯嘅遠東地區。后来到咗二战前一九三七年，苏联认为有日本间谍透过朝鲜族渗透俄罗斯，史泰林怕佢哋同日本合作，所以将十七万朝鲜族强行发配到中亚。大多数被流放嘅系米农同埋渔夫，好难适应中亚干旱嘅气候同生活。两年间有四万人挨唔住过咗身。后来佢哋尝试灌溉同埋种米，先至慢慢回复翻原本嘅生活水平。佢哋喺中亚落地生根之后，苏联禁止学校用韩文教学，朝鲜族亦都唔可以公开讲韩文。佢哋嘅语言同埋生活方式渐渐变得俄罗斯化。我喺乌兹别克出世，读书讲嘅系俄语、乌兹别克语同埋塔吉克语，但系我哋仍然会保留一啲传统，例如食泡菜咁。讲到朝鲜族，本地人都会谂起呢种中亚独有嘅韩式沙律，因为当地冇供应用嚟腌制泡菜嘅大白菜，所以佢哋用红萝卜取代。我嘅爷爷嫲嫲嚟自俄罗斯远东，自一九三七年就喺撒马尔罕啦，而我就系喺一九七零年喺呢度出世嘅。我唔知道幾時開始有呢種沙律，但係我嘅阿嫲、阿媽都識整，一代傳一代。我已經喺度賣咗二十年啦。將蘿蔔切絲、加蒜、醋、紅椒粉撈埋就食得噶啦，好受歡迎噶。至於正宗嘅韓國菜，佢會喺大時大節，例如生日或者新年，準備俾一家大細。我老公都系喺乌兹别克出世嘅朝鲜族，佢而家喺南韩做嘢。之后我会试下攞南韩签证去旅行，但系都系会翻嚟乌兹别克，因为呢度先系我屋企。嚟到中亚国家乌兹别克，绝对唔可以错过撒马尔罕。佢系昔日铁木尔帝国嘅首都。撒马尔罕咧系中亚一座好重要嘅城市，成个城市咧都布满咗呢啲伊斯兰建筑，全部都好靓好宏伟。如果你中意建筑或者人像摄影咧，喺呢度一定会有好多收获啦。呢啲建筑就眼望落都好似，究竟点样分辨呢？记住以下呢四个 M 啦。呢、这个广场系撒马尔罕嘅地标，广场上边三座宏伟嘅神学院建筑群，过去系培育穆斯林神职人员嘅学府，并教授天文、数学、哲学同埋艺术等等。And the first floor students started. That was like the classroom, and the second floor was the bedroom. What you see here restored 40% of the building from the original we have. 中世纪嘅神学院同埋陵墓，马赛克墙上都有三四种阿拉伯书法作为装饰。If you look at the light blue color, you can see three lions and turned. Six, just the digit, which means Allah. If you look at the dark blue, you can see the Buddhist sign, the eternity sign. Since 
从伊斯兰教向阿拉伯半岛以外嘅地区发展后，先后受到罗马、埃及、波斯等建筑风格影响，发展出唔同嘅建筑风格。而中亚嘅就系铁木仪式建筑，例如鼎鼎大名嘅帝王铁木仪嘅陵墓，外面有色彩鲜艳嘅宝蓝圆顶，里面採用金碧辉煌嘅砖墙。So the mausoleum was constructed for his um, favorite grandson, Muhammad Sultan. Muhammad Sultan is supposed to be the ruler, but he died. He died before his grandfather. He started the construction of the huge, magnificent building. But later, Timur himself and other members of Timurid's dynasty were buried here. 清真寺系穆斯林礼拜嘅地方，一般包括圆顶、宣礼塔同埋壁庵。寺内唔会有雕像、画像同埋贡品，会众由宗教领袖伊玛目带领祷告。There is always niche in the very center of the mosque. That is the direction to Mecca, direction to Saudi Arabia, which is called Mehrab. In the very center of it, you see the Arabic inscription. 清真寺另一个标志系呢一种台阶，伊玛目会喺上边向信徒讲解古兰经嘅内容。宣礼塔系清真寺常有嘅建筑，用嚟召唤信众礼拜。从前用火把照明，或者由宣礼员换拜，现代就多数用扩音器。佢亦都系统治者嘅权力象征。Timur said, "If you don't believe to my power, look at my buildings." Some of the mausoleums and the madrasas, even if they had in the mosques, they had the minarets. They always ended with the dome, with the cupola on the top.